Allah fa a'udhu billahi min ash-shaitanir rajeem, Bismillahir Rahmanir Raheem, Atiullah, Atiya Rasul, Ulul Amri Minkum. And always a reminder for myself and abdukil ajis of da'ifu, miskeen, uzalim, jahal, and but for the grace of Allah that we're still in existence. Alhamdulillah, <coughs> the holy month of Safar and the realities of the cave, <coughs> the realities of this Shams al Arifin, the Gnostic way and path to the reality of the sun, the reality of the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad SubhanaHu man huwa alimun hakeem that this is the month of, of knowledge and wisdom for Allah is the all-knowing and all-wise and to bestow that reality upon the servant then they must take the path of the people of the cave and that to seek refuge in Allah's refuge. And the greatest refuge and greatest protection against shaitan is the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad his holy companions and his Ahlul Bayt. This is the umbrella of protection, the shade of mercy and rahmah and that when Allah wants to guide a servant, He guides to this way and this path to the heart of Sayyidina Muhammad to become from the people of the cave in which we described last night that they have good character, loyalty and that they understand that their path they're going to be tested and they're going to be tested with good character and loyalty. Means their manners and their adab are far more important than their knowledge. Uh, majority of people whom have knowledge actually have bad manners and bad adab because the knowledge that they gained without manners <coughs> led them to become boastful and prideful and the knowledge that they gain is based on the mountain of pride and arrogance becomes worthless knowledge. That's why you see them with titles we see them on social media arguing, yelling, debating and in a tone and in a fashion that has nothing to do with it. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is Shaykh Nurjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs, please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream. Every bit counts. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Islam. There's no debate in Islam, there's no agitation in Islam and everything Allah described, don't speak or raise your voice in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad Don't ask until you've been questioned, until you, you've been given permission to ask. Means the holy companions were trained in an immense state of manners and to carry that same system is to understand that Prophet is with us, the nazar of Sayyidina Muhammad with us. As a result we conduct ourselves in that fashion. If you can't see your Rabb at least know that your Rabb sees you in everything that you do. If you don't see your authority if you don't see those whom are authorized over you, your sincere character tells you that they see me in everything. As a result I should govern myself accordingly. 
So means they can't raise their voice, they can't insult, they can't uh, do these types of debates. So these characters and khuluq begins to define us and show us what is the right way. Because even they're debating about the right way in the wrong way. This is the, the most ridiculous videos you'll ever see. They get together on, on who's the right way, yelling and screaming about the right way which is completely from the Qur'an the wrong way. So, Ashab al-Kaf teach us manners that lower ourselves to a state of a dog and understand that you're going to be tested, rocks are going to be thrown, are you going to bark? Now another way of looking at that because you, you lower the bar for people so that to be humble everybody can approach. But why is it that you can't achieve better than a dog? So the first state is we, we came and said, oh alhamdulillah I have an opportunity. A dog was saved so means now I can be saved. Then the shaykh will ask you, eventually don't you want to be better than a dog? Because at least the dog achieved something. He came, he took his rocks, Allah made him to miraculously speak. He stood up on his two legs and told Ashab al-Kaf, you can throw many rocks as you want, I'm not stopping. That inshaAllah Allah will put into my heart to be of service to you and be a benefit to you. So we have to achieve a station better than the dog. So when we're not achieving, not achieving, not achieving, it was okay to think, okay, oh great everybody can come through, everybody has a chance but we have to reach a state of sincerity and sincerity in which we try to achieve better than the dog where we have loyalty, good character, good manners, watch all these other social media things and be thankful. Say, alhamdulillah wa shukran lillah, subhanAllah Ya Rabbi how you guided me because look at what they're doing, look how they're treating, look how they're acting. Those are the very proofs of why we need good character. The paradise that we have envisioned is a paradise of immense, immense ihtiram and respect because we don't live in a kingdom anymore. And if we watch movies of kingdoms and, and royalty, people tremble in the presence of a king, they drop down in the presence of a king, they can't even look up in the presence of a king in which they respect and honour so much. Imagine then in the presence of Sayyidina Muhammad the amount of reverence and ihtiram and respect that's required. And when we watch the social media you look and say, these people think they're in a kingdom and they're going to be gaining access to a kingdom with this type of character. And then other people of faith with all their wildness and all their different religious beliefs and they think they're a part of God's kingdom without any manners, without any respect, without any discipline and dress code or, or any type of understanding. So then it becomes more prevalent that God's kingdom is based on good manners, good character and the path is then meant to develop this reality. We think good, do good, talk good, everything with a calmness, with a, with a respect not necessarily for the person that you're talking to if you have an issue with that person but for the sake of Sayyidina Muhammad who is accompanying you. If you are the one whom is doing salawats and durood al sharif and using your tasbih then the light of Prophet you must be aware is accompanying and that he cannot accompany bad character and that was from the, the, the example he gave 
when he was sitting with Sayyidina Abu Bakr as Siddiq who's the mutlaq, who's the most truthful servant in, in character. And as soon as he began to raise his voice with somebody Prophet got up and walked out. And that was just for us to have an example. If we want the power of durood the sharif we want the power of our tasbih and, and we're taking all these informations when we're sick make your salawats. When you want energy make your salawats, when you want your rizq make your salawats, when you want your du'a to be accepted make your salawats. Busy yourself sweetening yourself, your tongue, your light, your soul with durood the sharif and salawat and Nabi with that light is accompanying you then how you could be bad? How can you talk bad? How can we act bad? How can we look to bad? And this gives us a state of sincerity in which Allah is watching and saying, yes govern yourself like this. Know that the light of Prophet is accompanying you, praying for you, guiding for you and warning you from doing bad. So treat that light with respect and that becomes then the state of sincerity in which Allah gives the servant sincerity that they conduct themselves with that understanding that Prophet's light, his nazar is with us. If we're doing all these things the shaykhs are teaching then we provide the action and Allah provides the reaction that the light of Prophet to be with you. Why is it then you don't conduct yourself in that manner in that fashion? And that's why then the character begins to change, the astaghfirullah Ya Rabbi forgive me, the light of Prophet with me and that I talk quiet, be an ambassador of realities and, and this discipline to be dressed by this reality, blessed by this reality. And that's why sincerity is an individual station that everybody has a point in which they become sincere and the one on the left and the right nobody knows the station, only Allah grants sincerity. How much they really believe in what they're doing, the level of their practices and understanding and as a result Allah grants sincerity. The gift of sincerity is that their hearing becomes the hearings of truth, yaqeen and certainty. They have the sight of truth and certainty in which Allah opens the sight of their heart and grants them access into the heavens, into the heavenly and heavenly Divinely realms of the Divinely Presence and Divinely Kingdom. We pray that Allah dress us and bless us from the immensities of Surat Al-Kahf that He's giving us this opportunity and that its prescription for the entire nation was to read on Jummah Surat Al-Kahf for protection against the Dajjal and deception. But for the khawas and the elite they have to live it, not read it. They're asked to live the way of Ashab al kaf not only read it, be it and enter into the cave. Leave that which people are worshipping and that it's going to move itself towards the worshipping of people and a person and move towards your Lord's safety and protection. And the only safety and protection on this earth and in the heavens is the hand of Sayyidina Muhammad If If you trying to reach to the heavenly authority of La ilaha illallah it can only be achieved with the hand of Muhammadun Rasulullah And this is the rope of salvation and safety that enters onto this earth. That's why now we see it more than ever. We said a day would come when grey would vanish and has now vanished. There is no religion on this earth except Islam. As soon as somebody says they're of a faith and that their faith is calling Jesus God, there is no religion. It complete idolatry. It has nothing to do, Allah says, the throne shakes from His anger. 
So not a religion. Then another group is sitting and saying, our Messiah he's going to be God. Again the throne of Divine shakes. There are only these Abrahamic faiths. So they left. And this is now the kingdom of Allah when Allah describes the deen of Allah is Islam in which a person submits their will to the will of Allah and makes no partnership and that no human is God. There is no likeness onto Allah there is no direction upon Allah So means the purity and sincerity of that reality its key and, and safety is held in the realities of Islam. So that's the situation upon earth now. There is no religion on this earth right now. The only religion on this earth is Islam because they have all declared now idolatry and that either they're waiting for the idolatry or they have entered into idolatry. So alhamdulillah that Allah granted us these good tidings that the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad is the pure nation of the heavens and that the guarded nation of the heavens is the nation of Sayyidina Muhammad who uphold the way of Allah in the heavens and upon this earth and they are the guidance for mankind and the salvation for mankind. For everything that they sell themselves and <coughs> allow to be modified and allow their faith to be tampered with and destroyed and, and corrupted, Islam forbids all and Islam allows no corruption. Allah says, this is a, a deen that is completely straight with no corruption. There's no uh, allowing that which is false, that which is haram to become halal. So alhamdulillah this is now more than ever a time in which people are moving into the cave. And if not in the cave every type of difficulty coming upon people, they're going to bring back all of those masks and sicknesses and all of their, their show that they put on. But the people of faith inshaAllah Allah make it to be cool and peaceful. Allah put the whole earth into a fire and a nar like the fires of Nimrod and people will see a fire in every direction, difficulty, hardship, what's this, what's opening here, why we have to do like that and for the believers the, the fire will become cool and peaceful because of their faith and that Allah's umbrella of protection is in the love and the ishq of Sayyidina Muhammad This year more than ever Mila the Nabi has immense power, immense power, immense protections because of what they're putting upon the earth, what they're going to open upon this earth and how they're going to enslave and enchain people for their ilah. We said before how they can have an ilah that nobody listens to. So they force submission upon people. So means these are the times in which to be good with Allah and good with Sayyidina Muhammad and to be on the correct side of this reality. InshaAllah dress everyone, bless everyone and grant us uh, immense love and ishq for Sayyidina Muhammad and that our hearts to move in that direction with every being of our reality, with every drop of our reality to propagate that reality as a salvation for ourselves, our families and our loved ones. If people are worried and emailing about their children, about their family, about their relatives, we said before, support the milad, support the well, support the programs, make faith to become real, provide an action in the faith, not just asking for du'a. It's we said many times before we gave example that they would make letters for Christmas and for Santa Claus in school and they would have all the children write a letter and a wish for Santa Claus. They would take all the envelopes and throw them in the trash. 
Why? Because there's no stamp on it and who are you planning on mailing that to? Our faith is no different. Allah said, why you don't have a stamp on your du'a? Why didn't you provide an action with what you're requesting? Means that when you're asking something from Allah give in the way of Allah do something for the sake and the love of Sayyidina Muhammad that becomes your stamp. If you have small stamp or big stamp either way it's a stamp on the faith and the believer everything they do they put their faith into action. Bi hurmati Muhammad al-Mustafa bi siri Surat al-Fatiha. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh This is Shaykh Narjan, thank you for watching the video that you're watching. InshaAllah if you're happy with the content and happy with these programs please support the button below the programs that we have for our orphanage repairs, our water well, give the gift of life, our mobile food vans. We have now five vans, Vancouver, Chicago, Los Angeles, Pakistan. There's many programs that reach thousands of people and rescue foods and give those supplies to people in need. Your support is greatly appreciated. Also, be so kind as to leave uh, loving comments and please share the stream, every bit counts. As Salaamu Alaikum Warahmatullahi Wabarakatuh.